Are you perchance Radson? Yeah, that's me. How do you know my name? Thielen mentioned you. You are his fellow researcher. Oh, I see. Thielen sent you. Him and Tyre are still getting on okay? Quite. Though she did give him a good scolding earlier. <laughs> Went to Alchemoth again, did he? I did warn him not to be reckless. But when it comes to his research, that boy has tunnel vision. To be honest, so does Tyrea. Does she come here much as well? No, hardly ever. She's even more focused on the work than Thielen. I couldn't begin to guess why she's so driven. It must be about her mother after all. Ratsum, we have questions. About the Fog King. I see. That's why you're so curious. We need more to go on. What can you tell us? Because of the Telethia's ether field, the Fog King and his Fog Beasts seem, well, unable to escape Alchemoth. Ether field? Yeah. It's the means by which Telethia eliminate any excess ether that they absorb. Now, the Fog King and his beasts happen to give off an awful lot of ether. I see. So all Telethia in the vicinity flock there, to feed on the ether, and, as a result, keep the threat contained. Oh, this hot noggin of Kino. It get worse if not shut up. But my ether, it worked against Fog Beasts, but not the Fog King. Or rather, it didn't even seem to make direct contact with him. Shulk, Melia, would you do me a favor and head to Thielen's lab, borrow his Telethia research notes for me? Sure, we can do that for you. There's something I'd like to look up about the Telethia's ether field. Understood. On another note, we heard that you spoke out against the Companions. I voiced an opinion, yes. I can understand their impatience. Their ancestral home was right there. However, I couldn't abide watching them throw away more lives for nothing. Nothing? Sounds quite stark. At first, there were hundreds of us living here. But now? Well, you've seen for yourselves. And all because of the Fog King. Yeah. So I think you can see why I said what I said. If we end up extinct, we'll have won nothing. Well spoken. But I'm sure the companions would find those words hard to swallow. I'm sorry. Your people are no more free to go home than we are. No need for you to apologize, Melia. In truth, it's not costing me any sleep. They seem to be catching on too. After all, they've stayed put since then. When you put it like that, The people of Grandel, they're living under considerable strain, not knowing what became of their homes, and with no means of return. Hmm. But that's also true of Maxis. His people lost their homes too. Yes. But they're feeling desperate, and it's making them unreasonable. It too sad. We were like that too once, weren't we? Yes, we were. That true? Hmm. But we learned, eventually. All because we wanted to protect the world. And we made that dream a reality. We brought down Zanza. Overcoming our prejudice gave us strength in unity. Because we shared a goal. Radzum's folk, the companions, and us as well. We all share the same goal. Defeating the Fog King and returning home. Hmm. 
Sounds like Joe put here a volcano. Just let Nene at him. Thank you, everyone. Mama, man, what that thing? Is that? It's like the one we saw in Alchemoth, but much, much larger. You're right. Shulk, let's see if we can get closer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 